Hi, fifth grade clarinets, and I hope you're doing well at home. Uh, what I wanted to do in this YouTube video is work on a little bit of Trumpet Hero for you. So, uh, pull out Trumpet Hero, we're gonna look at that one a little bit, and I wanna look really right at the beginning, where we come in. Now, I don't have a clarinet today, I left it at school, so I'm gonna ha have my trumpet when I play the notes, but I'm gonna use my drumstick and help finger along those notes with you. So, uh, we are gonna look in Trumpet Hero, and we don't come in right at the beginning. We don't come in until measure five with the saxophones and the low brass. Uh, and we come in, we practice this part a little bit while we were still at school, but we come in on a low, low A. So you gotta remember the fingering for that low A when you come in is basically you're gonna hold everything like you would for C. So your thumb, your first finger, second finger, third finger. And then you're also going to press your first and second finger in your right hand. So you're gonna go back on that first measure that you come in at measure five, you're going A, C, D. And then you come in and you have those eighth notes in measure six. We're gonna go A, A, C, D. So you have a couple eighth notes and you play that along again with the saxophones and low brass. Uh, so what I wanna do right now is finger through and say the note names from measures five, six, seven, and eight. And then we can even look ahead and because measures nine, 10, 11, and 12, all are very similar to that part. So uh, once we learn this part, you kinda learn a lot of the song. So here's the beginning where we come in at measure five after our four measures of rest. We're gonna say those note names first and then we'll go in ahead and play them. So in five, two, eight to start. One, two, say and finger and go. A, C, D, A, A, C, D, A, C, B, C, A. Now I know that's really low, and the other thing I want you to be careful of is when you're playing your B, remember you're using the middle finger, not first finger on that B. It has that natural sign in front of it, so make sure you're pressing the B natural. So uh, let's play through that at measures five, six, seven, and eight. Here's how it sounds. You're welcome to play along. One, two, ready, and go. <laughs> Now you're gonna notice that you end on a dotted half note. If you don't remember what a dotted half note is, it means you're gonna hold that out for three beats. That dot next to it means you add half of its original value, so on the original value of a half note is two beats, and you add half of that. So half of the two beats would be one beat, combine them together, three beats. All right, so again, when we're looking ahead here for measures nine, 10, 11, and 12, it's the same exact thing. So let's say those note names. Ready, and go. A, C, D, A, A, C, D, A, C, B, C, A. Sorry, I had a little chain, uh, page turn there. And then at measure 13, you just come in with a D, D, and you're gonna have those accents that we talked about before. So uh, let's play that all the way up to measure 13. So from measure, where we left off at measure nine, we're gonna play that and go to measure 13. One, two, Ready and go. So the whole thing is really from measures five to 13 is just the same thing. So, uh, excuse me, uh, but you guys can keep practicing that. That's really all I wanted to start out with today when you're looking at that. Uh, we will do some more later on, so keep checking back for future videos. Hopefully you're staying safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye.